Yeah, it's um, it's a town hall. Nice sandstone outside edifice. This town hall is using a Gold Coast City Council bin. <laughs> Theft between towns and councils, I guess. That shopping centre there has a Woolworths, so I'll be going in there shortly when it opens. It's not 8am yet, but it will open then and I'll go and do some shopping. Let's have a look at the front. Well, there we go. The town hall, decked out for Christmas. Eighteen eighty eight. It is a nice building. This is the central business district of Warwick. Criterion Hotel 1917 in the 21st century. It's not just spires and cathedral crosses and things, towers. It's these things that are often the highest points of the landscape glad of them though. Wouldn't be able to have cell phones or even my internet without them. Library. Art gallery. Visitor information. Dogs are barking in there. I don't want you dogs barking every time I leave the van, please. You just draw attention to the fact that you're in here. Is that right? Well, I don't care. Ooh, look at your tail going. Hello, Hugo. Which of you is barking? I think it was you, nice. That seemed to be your bark. It even has a bell that works. It's nine o'clock in the morning. It's a man shearing a sheep. It's in sandstone. Sandstone seems to be a common stone in this area. This sculpture was carved in 1992 as a gift to the people of Warwick and surrounding district of the centenary of Jackie Howe's hand shearing record of 321 sheep in one day. He became the Rose City's favorite son and hero, known far and wide for his skill and endurance. Pook, locally known as Peter Cook, decided to carve Jackie's likeness in Yangon sandstone. I've seen the signs, the road signs to, to Yangon. It's like part of, um, part of Warwick, I guess. In Yangon sandstone, in situ and in public, using only wooden mallets and old cold chisels. The process took 45 days. Warwick Rodeo, last weekend in October, perhaps the man they employed to take down and put up signs is sick, last weekend in October and it's now the final week, or nearly the final week of December. There's sandstone again, tin roof, 
sandstone blocks for the walls. Church, 1868 There's another beautiful sandstone building It's obviously a Victorian building. So Warwick was, I'm getting pulled here, stop it. Warwick was obviously a well-to-do town back in Queen Victoria's day, and it still is, I think. It seems vibrant and well-to-do. Plenty of industry, plenty of people. Everything is modern. Well, I mean, that's Victorian, but you know what I mean by modern. The cars, the new buildings. So it's the post office. That guy was a local politician, Thomas Joseph Burns. Thomas Joseph Burns. Member of the Legislative Assembly from 1896 to 1898, only two years, and he got himself a statue in the middle of town, a big marble statue. He must have achieved a heap in those two years. Rose City Shopping World. Well, I guess Warwick is called the Rose City. The Cenotaph is in sandstone and marble plaques set into the sandstone. These walls here are sandstone. It's a pleasing stone, I like it. Probably my favourite stone. I like the way the buildings jut out over the sidewalk to give shelter to rain and sun. Does it on the other side as well. There's something to do while I'm here. I've got some dirty laundry and he's washing. Southern Downs Regional Council. So it looks like this big building here, it's a modern building, has taken over from the town hall, which you can just see jutting out there. I think the town hall is used, well I don't know what it's used for. Maybe they're using both buildings. Or the town hall might be the Warwick Town Hall and the Southern Downs Regional Council is for the actual region.